and welcome back welcome back to another episode here on Unplugged TV Australia today I want to go a little bit more in depth into the charge get charge controller I made a video about a couple of days ago and there were some questions coming up under my videos in terms of the safety of this charging unit and one of the question was can you set the charging amps higher than the circuit it is connected to because when I did the first test with the unit, I connected it only to a 10 amp power point with an extension cable. But the actual socket it was connected to was a 32 amp socket. And I could manually set the charging unit to 32 amp. So the legit question would be, can you actually do that? Can you pull 32 amp from a 10 amp power point? So and in today's video, I want to actually show you what's going on. As you know, you have the charger unit itself with the industrial plug on the on the top here with the connector and then you get all kind of different connectors worldwide to fit in any any power outlet you can imagine and depending where you plug in and where you are in the world you get these different adapters i think they have over 30 different adapters now and because this is a prototype, they don't have all the adapters right now. So I don't have an Australian standard adapter, so I, I can't actually show you how this works. These are both 32 amp adapters here. And when I connect the charging unit with one of these adapters, the actual electronic is actually sensing what kind of adapter you have plugged in. So the electronic now knows this is a 32 amp and it will give you the option on the display to go all the way up to 32 amps. So the maximum current on the device is determined by the kind of adapter you plug in. Of course this is a 32 amp adapter so the unit will allow me to set 32 amp as a max regardless where it is plugged in. But then the second safety feature kicked in straight away because I plugged in the 32 amp plug into a 10 amp outlet only. So of course the unit lets me adjust the current up to 32 amp because this is the right adapter. But then the safety mechanism kicked in in the unit and recognized the faulty connection on the other side and turned off the device with an error code. So I could not charge my car with this. And what Charget does here is a very similar thing what Tesla does as well with their UMC. You get different adapters with the UMC to plug into different power sources. And accordingly what is plugged in will set the maximum charge of your unit and the car. In any case of the Tesla UMC you get an 8 amp, a 12 amp and a 16 amp adapter with your UMC. And this is the same if I plug in the 8 amp adapter, I cannot go higher than 8 amp inside the car. I cannot charge faster than 8 amp unless I change the adapter and plug into a different power source. And this is exactly what Charget does as well with their adapters. Of course, if I would choose the 16 amp plug for the Tesla UMC and connect this one to a 10 amp outlet only, it would work. So the car would let me choose 16 amp because this is the right 16 amp adapter, but the car does not know what kind of cabling actually is behind this plug. And this is one of the big advantages of the Charget charging unit because it senses the grid parameters and adjusts the charging speed accordingly. If you have a dodgy connection, it either turns off completely or slows down your charging speed so you don't overload your circuit. And this is something the Tesla UMC does not do. So the Tesla UMC only senses the kind of adapter but does not care what power source it is plugged into. And because this video is called Charget Inside, we want to do exactly that. Have a look inside. I'm sure the final version will have different screws with um, some special heads so they cannot be easily removed but uh, because this is a prototype we'll have a look inside there we go so at the first glance we can see the thick cable here six square millimeter cables they have used which is very good for the 32 amp maximum current we've got two relays in here with 12 volt and 50 amps and also we can see a temperature sensor here we've got the neutral we've got l1 l2 and l3 well this is only a prototype single phase charger we've got only the neutral and the 
L3 as an active build up. So eventually in the three phase version we will have uh, two more contactors here which then connect or disconnect all three actives and the neutral at the same time. We can see here is a hall sensor and the active cable goes through the hall sensor. This is for current measurement. And then we've got another coil here, another hall sensor. And we can see there is neutral and active going both through this measurement device. And this is exactly another safety feature. So the magnetic fields around these two conductors are exactly the same because the same current goes into your car and then it comes back. As soon as there would be a ground fault or a current leakage somewhere and these two currents would be not the same anymore, the magnetic field would be different and this would be picked up by this coil, by this hall sensor. And you can see these little sensor cables here. They would switch off the unit straight away. So this is another safety feature which not all EVSEs have. And we can see here again the massive industrial connector at the top. Uh, I think I'm just voiding the warranty now. I just want to have a quick look under... Yeah, we can see underneath here there's a chip soldered onto the circuit board down there. I cannot quite read what the numbers are, but it looks like this is the main controller of the whole charger unit up down here. And there's the flat cable going to our display. On the other side I can see another um, I see here and this is pretty much it. So this must be our main controller. So all the components look professionally put together. There's no flimsy connections anywhere. Uh, all the circuit boards are professionally built even considering this is a prototype only. So all this looks very very nice. Been put together here talking of putting things together I hope I can so I'm just tightening these terminal connections here correctly again just give this one yeah they are all good yeah so the main components are of course these current sensors here with this one being the earth leakage sensor and the two relays or respectively four relays in the final version then the three-phase version which disconnect your whole power to the car should there be a fault in the system so please don't do this at home and i just wanted to show you this additional safety features inside the universal mobile charger which not many evses have so there you go the charget universal mobile charger inside and if you have more questions about this unit, please leave your comments down below. I'm sure Charget will read here as well and, and answer all your questions. Also remember, if you would like to support Charget, you can do this here on Kickstarter. I link this down below. And also their website with all the specifications and descriptions of this universal mobile charger unit. Okay guys, so far this video from today. Thanks for watching. Thanks for all your support again. This is Andy from Unplugged TV Australia signing off. You stay charged and we will see us again in the next video very soon. Thanks guys. See you then. Bye bye.